Setting in volleyball isn't easy, so today I have for you great tips and advice on how to use shoot set and what mistakes to avoid. When I played at the World Championships, uh, I was always amazed and often surprised by some setters with their creative sets. Only the best world setters uh, play at these uh, championships, uh, but I believe that uh, you also want to set like uh, Simone Gianelli, Luciano De Cecco or Antoine Brizard. You all know it, uh, the setter is the brain of the team. He should be a player with the best volleyball skills and uh, technique and uh, he should also be very fast to get under the ball ideally and set the ball. The first advice and technique that every setter should follow if he has the ball in the 3 meter zone, he should always have his right foot in front uh, when setting and the left foot should be slightly behind. This foot position is important to make sure you set accurately not only to the outside hitters but also to the middle blockers and uh, opposite players behind your head. This is because when you keep your right foot in front, your body and shoulders will be rotated uh, to your half of the court towards the antenna. Then your sets uh, will be pointing in front of you and you won't have uh, sets uh, fly off to the other side behind the net uh, because you have your body facing your side. Therefore it's a mistake to have your left foot in front when setting if you are setting an incoming ball close to the net. See for yourself, if I have my left foot in front, uh, my shoulders are pointing to the other side and then a lot of set will fly over to the net uh, straight to the other side as well. And you don't want that. Uh, as a setter, you don't want uh, your sets flying over the net to the opponent's side. Also, the coach will soon replace you if you make inaccurate sets like that. That's why my first piece of advice is to watch your foot placement uh, when setting. If you have the ball at the net uh, in the 3 meter zone, always keep your right foot slightly in front. But in volleyball, you don't always have an accurate reception or well defended ball in the 3 meter zone. Often you have to set from the field behind the 3 meter zone. Here I would already recommend you to have your feet more side by side when setting, sometimes even to have your left foot slightly in front. You will already need more strength to make high sets, so it's better to have your feet a little further apart, but feet side by side so you can use your feet and legs to help you when you are setting. I have to admit that these advice are not just off the top of my head, but when we did the conference uh, World Volleyball Coaches Show, Massimo Barbolini, who won the Women's Volleyball uh, Champions League uh, four times, talked about foot position when setting. And if you are interested in more of his advice, uh, check out the online course uh, we have on Volley Country with him. Before I give you more tips on how to set, let's take a look at the big mistakes I see some uh, setters make uh, that you definitely shouldn't make when setting. Big mistake when setting is uh, if you don't have balance uh, at the time of setting the ball. If you set in positions uh, where you are not uh, standing firmly on your feet. For example, if you have one foot just behind the other or if your feet literally get uh, tangled up uh, when you set. Balance is extremely important for a setter. Without balance, uh, you will not set uh, accurately. Instead, your sets will fly from side to side. Therefore, be mindful of your foot position when setting, as ideally your feet uh, should be about shoulder width apart. A lot of setters are also not calm when setting. I don't mean that uh, they are somehow mentally worried. I am referring to the movement of uh, the player while setting where some setters will literally run through the set. Not only will the running through and movement again make you unstable and you won't set accurately, but your movement will also greatly help the opposing players on the other side. If you run the set, it will be clear to everyone that you will be setting in front of you and your attackers will have to prepare to attack against a compact double block. You don't want that as a setter. You don't want to be legible. You don't want your opponent to know ahead of time where you are going to set. But when you set the ball while moving, uh, you are going to be readable. That's why I advise you not to run through the set. Another fairly big mistake is setting of the body axis. Uh, this mistake is caused by some setters having put foot forward or it may be even a bad habit. They fail to get under the ball and uh, then are forced to set off the body axis or sideways uh, to the net. And that's not how precision settings uh, works. If you set the ball off the body axis, your sets will not be accurate and your hitters will struggle to hit the ball. So also try to eliminate these mistakes in your setting technique or rather don't learn it at all. 
Oh, and uh, when I see some uh, beginning and uh, more experienced setters, uh, one of the biggest mistakes uh, you can make as a setter is setting the ball in front of you. The ball comes to you, but you don't set it over you, over your head. Uh, instead, you let the ball drop and set it in front of your body. Again, this gives a big signal to the opposing uh, defense. Because when you set the ball in front of your body, it's clear that uh, you can set it backwards. Your body is not going to be in an ideal neutral position. You are going to be leaning forward and then count on the blocker on the other side to move into zone 4 as quickly as possible and your outside hitter will have to attack a complicated set against the double block, even if you have a good reception to the net. Simply hands in front of the body when setting is wrong. There is no top setter setting in this position, so don't set in this position with the ball in front of your body either. And I have to mention also this mistake. When the setter is going for the ball, he often has to run fast and get under the ball and set uh, with his overhand pass. And in this movement uh, to the ball, some setters make the mistake of taking a long last step before setting and stopping quickly. Sure, this is a less of mistake uh, than running through the set because by the time you touch the ball, your body is uh, no longer in motion. On the other hand, uh, it's still a mistake that will greatly affect your setting game. If you are breaking hard after a long step, uh, you will not be able to make a quality set behind your bed. You also won't be in a stable position. All your weight will be on your right foot, uh, which has to slow down the full weight of your running body. And that's where inaccurate sets uh, will come from. So try to avoid taking a long step uh, before the actual setting. Now let's see how the best setters in the world set, what they do, how they move and what your movement, body and steps uh, should look like uh, before and at the moment of the setting. As I already mentioned, uh, the setter must be very fast. Uh, he must have an excellent estimation of the flight of the ball. Because every second touch of the ball on your side uh, should be his, in an ideal situation. The setter touches the ball the most. The others rely on him. That's why the setter can't make uh, the mistakes I mentioned. The setter must get under the ball as uh, quickly as possible to create the conditions and positions for a quality set. If he's not under the ball in the time, uh, his sets just won't go where he wants them to go and the attackers will quickly see that in the quality and accuracy of the set. Another crucial thing is for the setter to be in a neutral position when setting. The setter must not bend or lean while setting. He or she must not indicate with his or her posture where they are going to set because any signal setter sends uh, with his body gives information to his opponent. And most blockers can quickly tell uh, where the set is going to go when the setter is not in a neutral position while setting. Also, I recommend that setter take rather quick smaller steps toward the ball when moving under the ball. A great example of uh, on-court movement uh, was Brazilian setter Ricardo, who worked his feet very well when moving under the ball. Smaller quick steps are advantages because you will have uh, better stability when catching up to the ball. You will also have a better start for the ball than if you were only taking long steps uh, and you will also have uh, much better sets uh, behind your head. I must also not forget that before every set you should get into position to keep your body calm. This is what uh, the famous Argentinian coach Javier Weber talked about in our volleyball conference. Ideally, you should be uh, standing still at the moment of uh, the setting. A calm stance uh, will again help you in the accuracy of your setting. Or if you are concerned about your setting technique and uh, poor position of your elbows, wrists and uh, fingers, then watch this video where I show you a simple technique to significantly improve your setting skills. Anyway, if you are not just a setter, then take the time to practice your technique and uh, footwork when setting. You'll see for yourself that if you don't make the mistakes uh, I have described and also remember how the best setters in the world uh, move and set, your setting will be accurate and help your team to many victories. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.